Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to the channel and to another reading. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's an honor to have you here on this channel. If you're new here, these are messages for you specifically out of the true love frequency and to help you navigate your true love journey here and to unite with the person you're meant to marry in this lifetime, but also more than that, to step into your true soul purpose. One thing we believe here on the channel is that true love is the greatest catalyst to helping us find and step into our true meaning and true purpose in our lives. And this channel is here to help you get the clarity you need to navigate that specific journey with your person. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This is a message for Capricorn for the week ahead. Okay, May 6th to the 13th, 2023. What do they need to know? Sun, Moon, Venus rising for their highest and greatest good on this journey. Capricorn, you might be looking into, you might have opportunities to expand, I feel, in your life. Okay, Two of Wands is um, ever broadening opportunities coming to you in your life. I feel specifically in regards to your career, right? You might have new opportunities coming to you to shine and to expand. The, the word is expansion here. So what are those opportunities for you to expand into when it comes to your career, when it comes to your livelihood, okay? And what may be holding you back? Because I also sense maybe there's something holding you back there or keeping you from wanting or feeling able or comfortable in that expansion that's about to, that is arriving for you now, okay? Or that you're about to step into, right? And to receive fully. Yeah, there it is. So two of pentacles here, okay? The tarot agrees. Um, what what is that what is that uncertainty right uh the, the kind of little bit i'm not really sure or a little bit of wishy washiness into this next step it's like i almost feel like you know there's a next step for you to take in your life when it comes to your career your success the opportunities in your career and so you, but you might be a little unsure you're like okay i'm not really sure though if i am ready for that or what will happen if i pursue that or if I should go for that, right? Or if it's right. So this right here, okay, is your current lesson. So you might, you might feel like obligated. That's the feeling I get here. Devil card with the magician to keep your keep a keep away from empowerment. If that makes sense. I know that's kind of a weird way to say it, but I'm getting this feeling of like you might feel like if you step into your most expansive empowered self you might leave someone behind, right? Straight up, as I can say, like you might be leaving something or someone behind. You might be, right, hurting someone else. Someone else might have to fall because of your success, that type of energy here, okay? So that's kind of, it's kind of keeping you here because you know that there's these beautiful opportunities coming for you, but then you're like, well, if I step into those things, am I, Am I leaving someone behind? Am I going to hurt someone, right? Am I going to miss out on something, okay, uh, if I pursue my path, okay? So that's the energy I'm getting first and foremost here right off the bat. Empress card here and the Queen of Swords. So you are definitely, oh, and King of Pentacles randomly popping out. You're definitely learning your worth, okay? So I feel like you're in an opportunity where you're like, wow, I have a lot to offer her, like to the world. Like I have a lot of maybe skills. My energy is amazing, um, people really value me for me, okay, Empress Energy, and I I need to value me for me, right? I need to value and see my own worth and continue stepping into what I know is worthy for me, and this this also includes these expansive opportunities, right? So the only thing lingering here is if I accept those things and I accept that reality, what does that mean for the people who, who I may care about, who I may love in my life, right? Specifically, if you're connecting with a love situation here, you might be concerned that you're leaving this person behind or that you would have to, you'd feel guilty about that. There's a little bit feeling of guilt there, right? That I'm picking up on. So queen of swords. Okay. So you might be in this place, right? Where you might be unsure, right? You might be in your mind a little bit unsure of how to proceed or whether it's right for you to step into that next place of, of power, Okay, an opportunity for yourself. Okay, because there's yeah, there's some lingering feeling of guilt here. It feels like if you if you're moving away, okay, um, from the situation. Okay, so this is um, so high priestess here with the ace of swords. So you you're waiting for clarity. It feels like so there might be someone or something in your life you don't have clarity around, right? Ace of swords, two of pentacles here, devil and high priestess. You may have an intuitive sense of 
where the situation's at, if you're in a love situation where your person's at, but I don't feel you have this tr tr truth, right? Ace of sword, you don't have this clarity, okay? And that's leaving you in this place of uncertainty. Seven of cups is you can only imagine, right? You can only imagine what the real truth is, but there's no real actual tangible proof. It's kind of the area you're in. So you're having to choose, honestly, whether you're going to step forward in your life and pursue new expansive opportunities for you, okay? And really step forward into a new way of being, okay? And do that uh, without knowing or having a clear cut and certainty about where something else or where someone is at in, where someone is at in your life that you're connecting to here, devil card with the high priestess. And that's a tough choice. That's where you have the choice of like, okay, do I move forward? Do I, you know, what do I do here? What happens here? King of Wands. Yeah, this may be a, definitely a specific person. Um, but also this is representative of your own personal power. So King of Wands energy with the Six of Wands, your own personal success. Okay, so the question I would ask you, Capricorn, is how do you feel about reaching new levels like the next level of personal success in your life. Yeah. Like what would have to happen? What would you have to do and or let go of in order to reach that next level of personal success? What do you feel would happen in your life if you did that? Do you feel like you'd lose something? Do you feel like you'd have to leave someone behind? Do you feel like you'd have to let something go in order for that to happen? What guilt or feeling of shame comes to you if you were to step into your full expression of power here in your own personal life. Okay. So there may be that feeling of guilt, shame, or uncertainty in that area of your life right now that we're focusing on here. And also, all right, here we go. Personal success, personal financial success, right? So what would happen if you reached a new level of personal financial success? What are the consequences of that? We're looking at these things so that we can look at what's holding you back from achieving those things. Okay. Okay, Nine of Cups with the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, beautiful. And the Six of Swords with the Knight of Swords. Okay. So there is an... I want to say this, okay? There definitely is an energy of clarity coming in because this last row, I feel, is what's coming to you. Okay? So that's that that wants to be made clear by Spirit right now. This first These first couple parts is kind of what you're going through. And this is, if you're connecting with a person in a divine love situation, this is your per essentially your person's energy. So I see a person in your life who is, you know, turning on in a way here, right? Activating themselves in their pursuit towards you. Knight of Cups with the Nine of Cups realizing, okay, this is my wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups turned to the Ten of Cups. I do want to make this a Ten of Cups. This is the person, your person, okay, that I'm connecting to. This is where they're coming into this is where they're going towards right and if you're watching this, this is a timeless reading but this is just a progress update of like where they're headed or where they're stepping into okay um whenever you happen to watch this reading okay that's where they're heading <clears throat> it doesn't mean it'll happen tomorrow it just means that's where they're going okay so time is irrelevant essentially here when it comes to the land of it's all about energy and your personal journey but anyways that's where they're headed. Six of Swords and Knight of Swords. And to leave the past behind. To leave their past self behind. Because I feel their past self was not in a place of certainty. Was not in a place of this is what I want. This is who I want. This is where I'm going, right? It was very much this wishy-washy energy. And so now you're getting that, I feel, coming towards you in the near future. This is, last row for me is about near future here, okay? So it's beautiful, all right? So... The lesson here for you, okay, before we go into the, the next, the final outcomes here is you are being called to move forward regardless. You got to keep, keep on keeping on with your empowerment, keep on keeping on taking the next steps in your journey. Trust that if someone's meant for you, they're going to come to you, okay? So if you're connecting with a person here and you feel they're a divine partner, they're going to show you through action. They're going to pursue you. You don't have to wait you don't have to slow down you just you just go and you might feel like you're leaving someone or something behind right but that's not the case because this person's lesson is to step it up into the next gear just as you are and to ensure that their intentions are clear for you 
Okay, so you don't have to worry. That can you can relax that worry or that concern, right? That you're going to lose this person. All right, if you're connecting with someone, um, three of wands, five of pentacles. I'm um, called to call uh, bring a couple more. Yeah, three of wands. There we go. Three of wands, five of pentacles, uh, eight of wands. Yeah, there's this and four of pentacles. Okay. So your person here, I feel, and this is um, the extended is going to lead more into where your person's at and what you need to know, right? But um, sometimes spirit allows their energy to come through in the readings itself. I feel it's like half and half in these readings. But three of wands, so it's like your person is committed or committing, like they're getting to themselves this place. Three of wands is very much embarking, choosing to embark on a journey or the moments just before, right? But then five of pentacles, nine of wands is they, they go through this battle with themselves. And this battle says basically, sorry, just got a random call in the middle of this video. Uh, video. Um, they go through this battle with themselves of nine of wands, five of pentacles. Like if I do this, am I going to get hurt again? Okay, this is what they're saying. Am I going to be abandoned again? Okay, we'll take that as confirmation. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. So they're worried about that. Okay, their fear is about that specifically. Okay, being abandoned, being left out in the cold, Nine of Wands, okay, because of their past. Eight of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. But at the same time, they feel that they can't live without you. That's exact. Four of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. They can't live without you. So it has to move forward regardless. They, they have to move forward through this. It's almost like the strength of your love connection is the thing that's bringing them forward eight of wands through okay this pain this healing this fear okay so it's a beautiful thing actually that you you two have in this lifetime uh definitely what's going on here let's get a uh, final final outcome here in the middle yep ten of pentacles not moon card three of swords okay so this is um there's pain here, right? Because there's a there's an unrealized subconscious potential that you have with this person. Moon card, Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. And you may feel like if you move forward, here's the exact thing, right? That, that's coming up here is if you feel you may feel like right now, as things are, if you move forward towards your success, you are missing out on the opportunity to build it together with someone. Moon card with the Three of Swords. So this really hurts. This breaks your heart. What I will tell you as advice, okay, just so you know, to kind of flip this on its head, is, again, you moving forward towards your personal best opportunities is only going to serve this Ten of Pentacles with this person, right? With your person, the person you're meant to be with. Because you can never truly lose what's meant for you. So if you move forward into your next opportunities and your next life, and this person's really meant for you. This person's going to show up and pursue you no matter what, because you're worth it, right? So you may feel you may feel this because it's a trauma of yours that it, you you've you've had to choose between your own success and a person's love in the past, right? Or being with the person because the person you were with at that time was just not meant for you, right? They weren't compatible with where you were going, and so you felt you either needed to sacrifice that or choose that person in the past. Now, that trauma might be showing up again, and you might be having to make the same choice. But this time around, it's about you still choosing what's best for you here and trusting that this person will be there anyways. And this person will join in with you when the time is right to, con to build this legacy with you, okay, together. Okay, but your choice, right, your uh, challenge right now is trusting that that's, that is the reality of it. That's where it's going. That's where it wants to go, right? that you stepping into your opportunities will only help that as opposed to take it away. And that the fear in you stepping towards that may be just from the past or past trauma that you might have. Let me get three final advice cards and then we'll talk about the extended for the viewer here. Okay, yeah, eight of pentacles, 10 of wands, five of wands. So keep building, that's what they're saying here. Keep working, keep building. Yes, there will be inner conflict that arises within you as you continue to build and you continue to work on a business, on your career, on your success. But that is the most important thing where all the prosperity is going to come for you right now. 
So keep working really hard. And as you work towards that, you will deal with some emotional conflict internally because these challenges, these traumas will come up. But the advice here is to keep working regardless through that and to trust that when the time is right, okay, there's this person's not going anywhere. This person is going to activate themselves and pursue you, okay? And so it's your lesson to keep doing what you need to do here on earth in the meantime, okay? So that is your um, weekly reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Now, the extended reading will be in the description box below that will be going over extended messages on where your person is at right now. So what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what their intentions are towards you and or their healing journey and anything else that spirit wants you to know about this sitch, this divine situation and where it's at right now. So if you want to check that out and, and learn more, check out the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button and uh, be sure to watch your sun, moon, Venus rising. I'll see you guys in the extended. Bye for now.